Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, thank you so much for finding me. Today, we're going to be going on part four of my Shane Dawson X Jeffree Star palette reviews. Today, we're going to be touching upon the Mini Controversy palette. So the Mini Controversy palette comes in nine shades. It is a very interesting color story. So I'm very inter interested to see what kind of looks I can create using this beautiful color story. So if you're interested in seeing that, then keep on watching. However, if you haven't watched one, two, and three of my part reviews, I will go ahead and check out those videos before you watch this one. Anywho, let's continue. Okay, so as always, I have done my brows and set my eyes using the Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealer in the color C15. I'm gonna go ahead and now pat that down using the color from the palette called Cry on My Couch. It is the nice tannish yellow kind of color. I'm gonna go ahead and set that using that color right here. Okay, so as you can see, I put some pieces of tape on the corner of my eyes and I just did that because I want to get nice, crisp, and clean line work. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with a fluffy brush and I'm going to dip into the shade My Apology right here, this nice maroon shade. We're going to work that from our outer corner to about like halfway into the lid. So we're going to go ahead and dip into that, this nice maroon shade. It's a little harder on the pan compared to the other ones, so there's not a lot of fallout. So I'm going to go ahead and place that right there. That is a gorgeous color. It's it's really not picking up on camera as beautifully as it is in person. But let me tell you, this color is everything. And don't worry guys, I'm gonna do a close-up of the look later on. It just for me, I'm I'm actually very tall. So to get a good camera angle for me, it's actually kind of hard. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do that on the other side as well with beautiful maroon shade. You actually have to dip into the pan a little bit harder with this shade than the other one. The other shades are a little bit more buttery. This one's a little heavier, if I had to say, to pick up on brushes. And you want to make sure you're getting the color a little bit down towards the lash line. So just so you can blend it out a little bit under lashes. Alright, now using a flat brush, I want to dip into the shade Diet Root Beer and I want to intertwine that with uh, my apology. So I'm going to go ahead and dip into the shade Diet Root Beer and apply that right in between the two colors. I'm just gonna go ahead and go back into my apology and just clean up the corner a little bit more after having put down diet root beer you're starting to lose a little bit of the red so I'm gonna go ahead and dip back into my apology and clean up the corner and blend that in between the two colors so you're getting a nice and soft gradient Alrighty, I'm going in with a nice flat brush. We're gonna go ahead and go into the shade My Boy, uh, My Boyfriend's Purse, and we're gonna pack that from our inner corner to halfway into the lid. So I'm gonna go ahead and really pack that on here, and go ahead and apply right in the inner corner and halfway into the lid. So 
I brought you guys in a little bit closer. So there we have my boyfriend's purse on my inner corner and halfway into my lid. I'm just going to go ahead and lightly fluff out the colors. I'm going to go ahead and go into the shade Expose, which is like this light lavender color. And I'm just going to go ahead and fluff out the colors on the edge using Expose. And I just want to give it that like really nice lilac undertone. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Alright, so see how it gives it a nice lilac hue. So I'm going to go ahead and now... So with a pencil brush, I want to go ahead and go into the beautiful blue shade called the Simulator and I'm going to use that as liner. I just think this blue will pop really nicely on the fall of colors that I'm using. So I'm going to really pack it on my brush. So as you can see, it's packed really tightly on my pencil brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and use the tape as a guide and I'm going to place the simulator on top. Okay, so here we have the simulator as liner. I really love the pop of color, like I mentioned, against the fall colors, blue really stands out. So I actually want to go in with that same pencil brush, I'm just gonna swatch out the color, or rather, I'm gonna take out the color, and I'm gonna dip into the light blue shade called Cancelled, and I just really wanna create this dimensional look. So halfway in the liner, I'm gonna pack down Cancelled, so I'm gonna put that right in between the simulator. I'm going to put that right in the middle of there. So I'm going to grab a little bit more pencil and do so on both sides. Alright, so see how that creates kind of like a fake, mm, I guess you can call it. Um, it creates kind of like a halo effect on my liner. So it goes from dark to light to dark. I really like that, especially in liners, because it's really captivating, very smoky. So I'm going to go ahead and... Hmm, what do I want to do? I'm going to go in with a nice fluffy brush. I'm trying to use as many colors as possible just to show you guys what to expect of the palette. So I pretty much dove into these colors here, these all these colors, these colors here, and I kind of want to go into controversy just to show you guys the purple. Now purple in any palette is very hard to do, purples and yellows, so I'm kind of curious how the purple is going to hold up underneath my waterline, and as you can see there was quite a bit of fallout, but I was packing on the product so that's fault on me. But uh, the overall payoff of these pigments is really great and honestly you could just take a makeup wipe and wipe it away. So I'm going to go ahead and go into that purple shade again, Controversy. Pack that on my brush and I want to smoke it underneath my waterline. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. And I'm actually going to take off the tape now and wipe this off and I'll be right back. Now that the tape is peeled and uh, all the fallout is taken out, I'm going to go ahead and go back into the controversy and just smoke that underneath my waterline. Alright guys, 
so this is the finished look. Um, I did go back in and I cleaned up underneath my waterline. I went back in with a pencil brush just to get a little bit of a more fine definition. Um, I did go back in also with a small packer brush and I used the shade My Boyfriend's Purse in my inner corner a little bit underneath my brow and on my Cupid's bow. I also put on lipstick, uh, Girlactic Beauty, I don't know what shade it was, but yeah, this is pretty much the finished look. I'm not going to wear any black liner because it takes away from that pop of color. So I really, really love colored liners and just using eyeshadow as color, you're set. So if you guys like this, um, if you guys like this look, don't forget to comment down below. Like and subscribe, let me know what you guys think, follow me on my social media, and if you guys are interested in the mini controversy, uh, check out my comments down below as to how to enter for the giveaway, as well as enter for the giveaway for the giveaway vault. And if you guys don't know what's in the giveaway vault, then really check out my past videos because there's a heck of a lot of things in there. Anywho, um, thank you guys so much again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!